Hello everybody, greetings from one of my favorite places in Olympic National Park. This is the Solduck River area and I am here on a beautiful wet fall day. I've already done some walking in this area and I feel like today is really about opening up to the raindrops. And in my world, rain and precipitation represents emotions. I invite you to join me for this beautiful walk in a rainforest, a real rainforest on the Olympic Peninsula and open up to what the rain droplets might mean for you. This is a 20 minute nature immersion experience. It's not quite meditation, not quite contemplation. It can be what you want it to be. And the magic of immersing yourself in the natural world is that you get the opportunity to deepen your relationship with nature on your terms. There's no right or wrong way to do this because it's really about your own nature, seeing your own wild nature and opening up in new ways or maybe more familiar ways, but saying yes to the knowledge that just like everything in nature, you belong because everything in nature is interdependent. That everything in nature has a purpose and you have a purpose, even if you may not see it obviously right now in your life. And also everything in nature is always changing. And that means that you're resilient. What you can face, you can handle. Today, I feel an exuberance in my heart because I'm on the verge of new and exciting things in my life. And sometimes it feels like all these raindrops represent all of the pent up emotions, all of the desires that I've had around opening up to the world in new ways. So when I walk this path and I, I sit with all those emotions, the, the water coming down can be, it can be a little bit of a nuisance because I, there's parts of me that are impatient and I just want to go forward. I just want to open up to all these things, these experiences, and I want them to happen right now. It's the rain can represent that, that impatience within me that I, I am working with, I'm working through. I am accepting and choosing to go on, go on a new path and do something a little different than I have in the past.
another thing that the rain brings to an atmosphere like this is is water which makes the creeks fill up and they have more passion more vigor and with that volume of water i i think what's flowing through me and and how fast and, and how can this water represent that life that's within me bursting out i'm in a place today where i feel so much potential and so much desire for the future i can hardly wait and the water symbolizes that power that rush and also reminds me not to rush too much that, that this forest waited all summer to get this rain what does the water symbolize for you As the droplets shower down around this ancient tree, I, I can't help but open my heart to the wisdom. This tree stands in this forest, powerful and big and thick. Thick with knowledge and thick with experiences and thick with passion. And all the other trees around it are symbols there might be descendants of this giant tree. There might be the spirits that empower this tree. And I wonder what this tree has seen in the people passing by and felt from the passion and the wonder in their eyes and the opening up to new realms and new worlds, new opportunities, new ways and channels, new pathways to healing, new pathways to passion, new pathways to power. And even as the rain washes, washes things away from me, it represents my emotions around this tree, around the power that this tree represents, the history and the passion. In this part of the forest, I noticed the snags, like the one you see me behind me. And I wonder how that reflects in my life. What are the snags in my life? And even the word snag has this negative connotation, but these are the remnants of trees and all of the parts of them are now fertilizer for everything else you see here in this forest. So even the concept of a snag, even the concept of those things that are peeling away from me, those things that are dying, within me that are being washed away, even those things have a place in fostering new growth in my life. What things do you want to let go of that you can still celebrate? You can acknowledge the snags in your life and allow them to be food for all the new growth. This is the day that I dreamt you alive. This is the day that you emerged from my heart, and jumped down on the ground as the rain pressed your naked flowing shape and cleansed you, getting you ready for this life, for my life, for our life together. And as you 
take your first steps as we join hands and take our first steps together, I welcome you into my life and I say yes. And I make that choice to include you, to open up the areas where I feel vulnerable, to cast away, allow the water to take away doubt and fear, and to open up my heart to the knowledge that you're here for me and I deserve you, and I can be here in presence for you, and that this is the beginning of a new exciting journey of passion, of love, of trust, of power, of companionship, of partnership. This is one of my favorite parts of this nature immersion experience, is going through a gate. And you can see here, these two trees, they're on the path. They're across from one another. They've been there for hundreds of years, and I'm guessing they're friends. And it's an opportunity to go through the gate as if you're going into a new realm, into a magical world that's a magical part of you. This is giving you agency to shed things on this side of the gate, and then open the gate walk through to, to something new, something that you're saying yes to, to acceptance of this new thing in your life, or a new way of looking at something, or a, a newfound energy. So I, I invite you to join me with this experience, and I want you to leave something behind you that no longer serves you. And it could be something that's helped you in your life, but maybe it's just it has served its life. And you can honorably just say, I'm going to leave you on this side of the gate, and I'm going to open up to what's on the other side. And just imagine as you go with me that you're puffing up your chest and you're opening up to whatever it is. This is a great opportunity. And remember to ask nature to take the things away from you that you no longer need. And ask the natural world, the nature spirits here, to help you open up to what is next. So that felt really good. I hope that felt good for you. The thing that always comforts me about immersing into the natural world, even in, or especially in this beauty of this exquisite rain under the canopy in a rainforest, but no matter where I am, I find comfort in knowing that nature's all around me, helping me, supporting me. The moss, the trees, the ancient wisdom, on my back and I feel it. Maybe you feel it too. 
Maybe you feel it here in this forest with me. Maybe you feel it when you go out in a forest near where you are and you feel the rain hit your nose, drip down your chin. And maybe you feel the joy and the passion flowing like the moss, like the carpet of this fourth floor. Maybe that represents the passion, the creativity, the magic within you, within your heart, within your spirit, within your soul. There are so many different ways to look at the natural world. And the thing that we all have in common is that nature is here to support you. Today, right now, with me and into the future. So from this magic carpet of green in the middle of a rainforest in Olympic National Park to you, thanks for following along and I will see you down the road.